Hi everyone, my name is Emily Roberts. I am a blogger for HealthyPlace.com. I write the blog, Building Self-Esteem. This week I want to talk with you about uh, eating disorders and self-esteem. This is National Eating Disorder Awareness Week and it's very important to discuss how eating disorders and self-esteem correlate. That means that they work hand in hand at some capacity. I used to work in an eating disorder facility. In fact, I work currently with a lot of eating disorder populations. And when I was in the facility, what I often asked my clients was, what started first? Was it the food behaviors or was it the way that you felt about yourselves? Every single time, it's about how they felt about themselves. It's not about the binging, it's not about the purging or the restricting. It's about the way they feel about themselves internally. And when this starts, is usually very early on. So what we wind up seeing is people who have a bad self-image, who are often trying to fix that through food, or need to control something in their life because they don't feel adequate, and therefore they use food for that relief. So regardless of the diagnosis, when you have an eating disorder, usually your self-esteem is impaired prior to developing that eating disorder. What my hope is, is for us as a society to help our younger generation of girls and boys feel good about themselves with or depend, no matter what their body image is, no matter what their body looks like. If we can teach them self-esteem at an early age, what we can do is prevent this huge amount of eating disorders that happens in our culture today. Um, and that's not saying that people who struggle with eating disorders now can't find relief and find you know, the ability to love themselves and have healthy self-esteem. That's not the case at all. They can do a lot of therapy around that. They can do a lot of self-work around that. And usually what winds up happening with eating disorders specifically is when we are able to get the self-esteem intact, when we're able to get them feeling a little bit better about themselves, regardless of their body image, the behaviors of food tend to get better as well. So it's really, really valuable to look at self-esteem and eating disorders in the same category. Um, I also really believe that once we're able to teach a person in treatment or who recovers from an eating disorder, or recovering, pardon me, from an eating disorder about healthy self-esteem, we are able to really help them get through life without relapsing as frequently or relapsing at all. So that's my spiel about self-esteem and eating disorders. Please, please, please talk about it. Educate yourself. And if you're working with kids, educate them on building self-esteem at an early age. Thank you so much, and I look forward to speaking with you all soon. Take good care.